Hi everyone, welcome to RAW online teaching program. I am Dr. Monika, your pediatric faculty. As a part of a series of lectures, uh, we are dealing with the standard treatment guidelines provided by the Indian Academy of Pediatrics. So, in that series, today's topic of discussion is Ophthalmia Neonatorum. Ophthalmia Neonatorum is uh, refers to any conjunctivitis that occurs within one month of life, that is within 28 days of life. So, why it is important? Why to know about this ophthalmia neonatorum is, it can be sometimes sight threatening condition of the eye when it is not treated in the initial first 4 weeks of life. So, the reported incidence of uh, the sight threatening condition is almost like 0 0.5 to 33 percent in India. So, that is why we need to know about the ophthalmia neonatorum. So, coming to the etiology that is the causes of uh, ophthalmia neonatorum, it is basically 3 causes like most common is a bacterial and next is chemical, chemical induced conjunctivitis and third one is the viral induced conjunctivitis. So, of which the most common is the bacterial, bacterial again based upon the type of organisms which has been the causative agent, it is again divided into two that is STD that is sexually transmitted disease causing organisms and non-STD that is non-sexually transmitted disease causing. So, this uh, constitutes the major chunk that is more common cause for the uh, neonatal conjunctivitis is because of the non-sexually transmitted disease causing organisms like Staphylococcus, Streptococcus species, H. influenza, Pseudomonas species, Coagulus negative, Streptococcus. So, these are all the group of organisms which are most commonly caused for the neonatal conjunctivitis. Whereas, very highly virulent and maybe uh, site threatening uh, infection like neonatal conjunctivitis is caused by the sexually transmitted disease causing organism which is Chlamydia, Trachomatis and Gonorrhea, Neisseria Gonorrhea. So, these are uh, these two organisms is uh, actually a most virulent organisms uh, though they are not much common, but more common is the non-sexual transmitted disease causing organisms. And uh, regarding the chemical, uh, chemical induced neonatal conjunctivitis, this can occur uh, when there is a high index of uh, suspicion of the uh, neonatal conjunctivitis, we will be starting with the topical antibiotics like topical gentamicin or topical erythromycin drops or silver nitrate solution as a part of the prophylaxis like topical antibiotic prophylaxis. So, sometimes what happen this chemical induced conjunctivitis may occur uh, usually they resolve they resolve within 48 hours without any treatment. So, resolve within 48 hours no need of any treatment extra treatment is required. So, this is regarding the chemically induced neonatal conjunctivitis. Again viral induced conjunctivitis the causes are adenovirus, herpes simplex and enterovirus. So, these are all not much common. So, this is regarding the etiology of neonatal conjunctivitis. So, coming to the signs and symptoms as we divide that etiology the signs and symptoms also differs based upon the underlying causative organism. So, if you see the most common cause of conjunctivitis as I already mentioned is mainly the non-STD group of organisms that is coagulase negative staph or hemolytic streptococcus, H. influenza, streptococcus pneumonia, pseudomonas species and E. coli species. Uh, this may occur in vaginal deliveries more commonly and there may be a premature rupture of membranes as a risk factor and midwife examination is also another risk factor because there will be multiple unclean vaginal examinations will be done. So, that may be the cause for that and usually if you see the signs and symptoms and they occur within 72 hours of birth and there will be conjunctival redness and uh, most probably the discharge will be zero sanguinous type of discharge. So, Regarding the management if you see it is only the topical antibiotic manage antibiotic drops either tobramycin or gentamicin is used uh, uh, approximately 3 to 4 times a day and for a week duration it has been given. So, it is a most common form of conjunctivitis occurs frequently in, through the vaginal mode of delivery. So, only topical antibiotic drops is enough no need of any parenteral IV antibiotics. 
So sometimes what happen even in this non STD group of organisms sometimes severe neonatal conjunctivitis can occur. Uh, the causative organism of species includes H influenza and Pseudomonas species. So these two has a probability of having a severe form of conjunctivitis requiring IV therapy. And at the same time when the child is very severe having conjunctivitis you should look for other signs of infection like septicemia or meningitis also has to be looked upon. So this is regarding the non-STD group of organisms.